Hey everybody, I'm TJ with TJ's Magic Touch and today I'll be showing you how to design custom tea party favors. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is click on create new. This opens up your new document panel. For width, you're going to type in 2.688. And for height, you're going to type in 6.5. You wanna make sure that you're working in inches. Portrait orientation, 300 for your resolution and pixels per inch. Once you verify everything in your panel, you will click on create. This is what will pop up for your bag of tea party favor. Now to design this, I will be using the drag and drop method. And here are some of the images I will be using for this design. I will leave a link below where you can purchase these images as well as the digital papers if you are interested in anything that you see right here. Okay, now we're going to click on view and go down to ruler so we can get our guide mark on the screen. For this template, there will be a lot of lines on the screen, so I apologize in advance, but I had to mark everything being that I wanted to make sure when I folded this template, the T set right inside of the paper and that my design is where it needed to be. So you'll see where the first line out to the right is at 2.5 and at the left it'll be at 0.1875 and so on. And I have listed all of the measurement points right here to the right for you on the screen so that you can do the adjustments as well. Now that we have our line set up, this top space right here will be the front of your tea bag, and this bottom space here will be the back. It is also where we're going to have to flip our design upside down. Now I'm gonna click on view and go back to rulers just to get those numbers from along the edge off the screen. Now it is time for our drag and drop method. And the first thing I'm going to do is find a digital paper to use as a background. So I'm going to move my file folder over to the left so that you can actually see me utilize the drag and drop method. I'm going to use this polka dot paper right here. So I'm going to move my file folder over to the left, click on the image, hold, and literally drag it onto the screen. Now I am going to adjust the background until it is how I want it to be. And the next thing I'm going to do after I move my file folder over to my second monitor is I'm going to start dropping elements into this file. Here I've dropped in a PNG that kind of blended with the background. So I opened up my FX panel at the bottom and I simply added a stroke to it as well as a drop shadow. And I just kind of messed around with it until I got it to look the way that I want it to look. And then I repeated those same steps with the rest of the elements that I added in order for them to have a cohesive look. Real quick, I wanna point out, be careful when you're going to adjust your clip art. Sometimes you can pull on the guide marks. And if that's the case, you can always just move them back.
Okay, so now I'm going to change the color of the text by clicking on this color box in my properties panel. And once I have it the way I want, I go back down to the FX box to add my stroke and my drop shadow. I'm going to start dropping in images and text for the back of the label. To quickly zoom in and out while you're working, you'll hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and use your scroll wheel on your mouse. So to zoom in, you'll scroll up and to zoom out, you'll scroll down. So right here with my circle, you'll see that I was messing with the shading and stuff of it, but it was on top of my text. So I click on the layer that says ellipse and I bring it down under my text and that places it behind it. You can do that for any element or any layer on your work. You can simply click on it and drag it to move it above or below another element. While holding the control key, I'm going to select all of the layers that will be on the back of my label. Then I'm going to flip them 180 degrees. This can be done multiple ways. You can either just adjust it by turning everything together or in your toolbar up top, you can type in 180 and then click the check mark and everything that you want to be upside down will now be upside down. So now I'm just going to add some final touches to the design before I get ready to set it up as a print sheet. Control R to get my rulers back on the screen. And then I'm going to drag one more guide mark down to 0.3125. And this is simply where I'm going to type the words tear here. Remember your guides do not print out on your printing out design. So where I type the words tear here will be the only thing that is seen. And this will let the guests know how they're to open their tea bag. Now I'm going to get ready to set it up for a print sheet. So I'm going to go to File, New, and select 11 by 8.5 and, and Create. This opens up a new workspace. I want to go back to my original design, go to Layer, and I'm going to flatten the whole image. Drag my workspace down, and then I'm going to drop that image onto my new file. I'm going to drag my first layer onto the plus sign at the bottom to make a copy of it. And then I will repeat that step until I have three images on my sheet. Now that I have three images per sheet, I'm going to save on my computer as a PDF and it will be ready for print. Don't forget that in your original design, you did flatten the image. So you need to go back and undo that last step so that you will continue to have access to your layers. Now I'm gonna print this out and assemble it.
Okay, for your supplies to assemble, you're going to need your printed out design. Today I'm trying this Everyday Photo Paper by HP. It is not um, what I normally use, but I have bought several different types of photo paper um, just to see and test out the different qualities of the different papers. I'll save that for another video. Um, but you will need your printed out design, a pair of scissors, your tape runner, and your tea. And also you'll need a paper crimper. Um, the paper crimper is optional. It is not a necessity, but it is nice to have. So you're simply going to cut out your design, fold it in half, and then place your double-sided tape along the top three edges once you fold it in half. Place your tea bag in the middle, and then you'll close up the sides. Crimp it if you choose. Again, you do not have to. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Please do not forget to check out my homegirl Andrina at Andrina's Creations LLC. And she shows you her version of a teabag party favor done in Silhouette Studio. As far as this video, I hope you learned something. I hope you were able to pick up a thing or two. If you did, please do not forget to hit that like button, comment down below, share if you can, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Until the next one, bye guys!